Hank is here with Iron Bolt Fly Shop. Today we're going to be tying up a chubby Chernobyl. So this color variation I have today is going to be a stonefly variation. You can tie this in just about any color you can think of. So we're going to be tying this on a Daiichi 1710 in a size 6. We've got UTC 140 in yellow. So once we have that wrapped to about the barb of our hook, we're going to come in with some crystal flash. Today we're going to be using pearl. So I'm just going to tie this in about to where the barb is on our hook. Once I get it secure, I'm going to double it over. And we're just going to trim off the excess. And I will trim the tail a little bit once I get closer to the end of the fly. I just like to leave it a bit longer. Next we're going to be tying in just a little piece of foam, which is a little trick I learned a couple years ago that just helps the fly float a little bit longer throughout the day. Just going to throw a quick half hitch in. So now that we've got our foam, I'm just going to wrap the shank of the hook. Also found it adds a little bit more bulk. It's not so much just dubbing. So I'm just going to carefully go back to where we've tied in our crystal flash. Next we're just going to put in a little bit of ice dub. Today we're going to use golden brown. First things first, I'm just going to coat the thread a little bit with some high tack wax. Just found the high tack wax just helped the dubbing noodle a little bit. Ice dub is sort of an unruly material so it just helps everything stick to the thread. Wrap this forward to about the hook point. Next we're going to be tying in our foam. So our foam today we're just going to be using hairline thin fly foam in brown. If you have a foam cutter, they're an awesome tool to just get your proportion right every single time. They come in three different sizes. This one, if you have the foam cutters, I'm using the medium, it makes it super easy to punch out a couple dozen bodies. If you don't have one of the awesome foam cutters, you can also just use a ruler. So for this one, I want the width to be about seven millimeters. So I'm just gonna come in with a blade And I'm just going to taper the ends to give it a nice tapered look. I just found rounding the edges with scissors was a little harder. So at least there's two options you can use. Pick whichever one you prefer. So now that we've got our foam cut, I want that to extend about one hook gap past the bend of the hook. So I'm just going to get a couple secure wraps on top of our foam. Really cinch down on your thread. I'm just going to trim that crystal flash just past the foam. Now that we have our foam tied in, I'm going to be tying in Chernobyl Afterglow. I found this stuff to be really awesome, and again going along with proportions, each fly that you tie will be exactly the same. So I'm just going to tie this in right in the middle, and I'm going to leave that length of afterglow fiber just a bit long, so when I tie it in I'm going to create a little loop. At least with this size, I want to at least double it over a couple times. Just helps really give the accent of a larger wing. Next, we're going to be tying in our rubber legs. So we're going to be using medium in brown. So I'm going to double that over and leave the loop in the front. 
just kind of get them nice and even then you can adjust them on either side typically I like to leave them along the length of the foam once we have our legs tied in we're gonna come back with a little bit more ice dub we're just gonna cover up our thread wraps here peel back any excess material so now that we have our thread wraps covered I'm going to come back with some high tack swax and we're just going to create a little bit more of a thicker body for this fly now with a little bit more ice dub I'm going to continue wrapping forwards more than likely you'll run out trying to wrap forward all in one go so adding a little bit more isn't a problem at all and I'm going to want to carry that to about 3 8 7 inch from the eye of our hook with the proportions on this I'll usually use the shank and split it into thirds always gives me a very accurate representation for each fly so again I'm going to come back with my afterglow fiber we're going to do the exact same thing, leave it about as long as our back wing, create our loop, and we're actually going to double it over twice, just gives it a more full wing, tying this fly in a smaller size, I don't need to double it over as much, typically that'll be like a size 10 or a size 12. We're going to come back with the same rubber legs, double them over, and adjust them as you see fit. And again, we're just going to be covering up our thread wraps here with a little bit more iced up. Once we get that tied in, just going to make a couple wraps in front of our foam and come back with a little bit more iced up make a couple wraps just in front of the eye now we are ready for a whip finish just peeling back any leg excess foam really cinch down make sure that knot is nice and tight and trim off your excess thread so for the front portion of the foam I'm just gonna make a little notch on each edge give it a little bit of a square head and I'm just going to be trimming my legs here leg length can really vary you can leave them longer you can leave them shorter really depends on how much motion you want to create in the water and the other thing I like to do is just kind of brush out the afterglow fiber just helps give it more of a fuller wing and there you have it that is a finished chubby Chernobyl